Welcome to Built on the Rock Homestead. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kiri and I live in Texas. And yeah, it get, stays warmer here. I mean, yeah, it's winter time. It's December 2nd as I videotape this. And we have been getting down in the 30s at night. But right now I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Sun's come out. It's kind of nice out here. And so, being that I'm in Texas, I have a longer growing season. And so today, I planted some seeds. Yeah, I covered them up. They're kind of going to need to be covered up because it does get cold at night. So, to be on the safe side, I'm covering them up. Oh, sorry, I just started to trip over a weed. Yeah, I've got a weed problem in my garden. So normally, this time of year, I don't know if you can see all those guys over there. Those are goats. And normally, I open this gate and they come in and they have a field day and they just eat everything. But this winter or this fall, I tried to plant a fall garden. And I've had some success. Those are rutabagas. If you've never heard of a rutabaga, it's similar to a, a turnip. Um, I know they have different names over in Europe. Um, I'm not sure if it's related or a different plant. I don't know. But I've actually had them in the store. See, there's they're, they're very similar to turnips in that they make this big bulb. Um, yeah, here's what it. And I don't know, I just like the flavor better. And somebody sent me some rutabaga seeds because I could never find them. And I can't find turnips or rutabagas in the store. And so they sent them and I planted them and these are all rutabagas. This is charred. This has been growing since the springtime. And so I still have some things growing. Over in some cardboard boxes over there, I've got some green peas. I checked earlier, I don't see any peas, but I have harvested five. This is, what do you call it? Oh, a radish. These are radishes. Look at how big that root is. It's just massive. And here's another one. Here is the seed pods. And from what I've seen on um, other YouTube videos, they're supposed to turn brown before you harvest them. And I do have some that are kind of turning brown. I don't know. So I've just left it there, hoping it will turn brown. This is an aloe vera. I've taken the rest of my aloe vera plants indoors because aloe vera will, does not like freezing temperatures. And I've had to cover this one and another one that I just took in, but I had to kill ants that were in the soil first. So I need to take this one inside. The rest of the other, there's, I could. Um, they were okay, no ants. But today, this afternoon, I've actually planted some seeds. They're covered up. I, I'm not sure where this came from. Um, I found it in a, over there. It was part of something that fell apart, but I'm not sh sure what it was. I'm kind of confused. Maybe it was the lid and the lid fell off. I don't know, but that's what's left and so I'm using it. Um, I have a lot of mulch leaves over here. Half of this, I have three rows of lettuce, two different types of romaine type lettuce le seeds. And then I did some radishes. And let's see, I think I did some, I forget. I, I know I did some more rutabaga seeds, but there was something else I pl think I planted in here too. I can't, just can't remember now. But it goes all the way over to about here. So almost this whole way of this plastic. And hopefully the plastic covers up enough and will keep it warm enough that these will all germinate. And we had fog this morning. But as you can see, there's no fog now. It, it's just, once the fog burned out, it got sunny and just a warm day. 
So I've never planted anything this late. Now last year we had the worst freeze winter conditions I believe in Texas history. And they're predicting a cold winter too again this year. I, I literally for a whole week had no electricity and had to go stay with friends who also lost their electricity, but their house didn't drop down into the 20s. So we'll see how this does. Hopefully things will sprout and start growing and survive the winter. Um, I've kind of, most of these, I'm not seeing a big bulb like I showed you, only that one. But who knows how many rutabagas I'm going to have. Can't find them in the store, so I'm really looking forward to some rutabagas. It's been years since I've had rutabagas. And then my chard and stuff, looking forward to eating that. Not much else is really growing here. I mean, I almost daily I harvest um, something like this is good food if you're a rabbit or a goat or a chicken or a goose or a duck. I've been harvesting lots of stuff. This was covered in some weed. I need to research to figure out what it is. I harvested a ton of it and fed the rabbits. Even though there's a lot of weeds grown in here, there's a lot of food for the animals. So that's what I'm doing. Just planting some seeds today, see if they survive, if they sprout and survive. Hopefully I'll get some more harvesting done. And here's my green peas. I got some flowers. They're not that big. I know I planted peas today. Maybe that wasn't what I was forgetting. Um, we'll see if they sprout. But, yeah, it'll be nice to get, hopefully, these will produce more peas. And hopefully over there I'll get some peas and some lettuce. We'll see. I just wanted to show you that when you're in the south, even though I'm over 2,000 feet in elevation and it does get cold, I can get freezing temperatures. I don't get the snow and ice like the northern states do. And so I have a better chance of growing stuff. So we'll see how this does. And if things, if nothing sprouts and these start not doing as well or I've pulled them all up and I just get tired of this garden, I, it's, I can always just open that gate and let those geese and goats come charging through the gate and mow it all down. Win-win situation. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing my little winter garden. It's the first year I've ever done a spring, a fall garden, let alone a winter garden. So you to have a nice day and thank you for watching and God bless you.